Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem Awashai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing his work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be light unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens, and to the Aquaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you another lesson in truth. And uh, something you will often hear me say is that these platforms that go on the, uh, the internet, you know, and they get like this one has 92,000 views, you know, that sort of thing. Now, you know, not to say that because I actually have a couple videos that have high numbers like that, but they're only because they're controversial videos. It, it videos that are, that are uh, giving you, you know, and, and even though they're controversial videos, they're still edifying. But it's the videos that are hot topics that, you know, people want to watch things that are uh, almost in the form of entertainment. They don't really care about being edified and learning the truth and the history and the breakdowns. You know, only the sincere, actually the elect, which is what this lesson is about. But what I was going to say is that when you see these platforms where people are, uh, put up videos and they don't get strikes and they don't get interrupted, or, you know, or they're pushing the black narrative, you know, they're pushing the black narrative and, and completely leaving out the Northern Kingdom because of their, and, you know, the Northern Kingdom being the Latinos and Native Americans, you know, and then, of course, the uh, the scattered elect that are among the other races that look like the other races that are still Israelites because their uh, bloodline through their father's seed go back to 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 Jacob. They completely disregard that and they try to make it a color thing. And and so groups like IUIC, you know, uh, ISPK, this guy, Ronald Dalton, with his Negroes to Hebrews. Uh, I mean, uh, Hebrews to Negroes uh, documentary. Why do you think he got what he was allowed to be put on that platform? Because here's here's what's going on. The truth is coming out about about Jacob. The truth is coming about out about the 12 tribes. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to to uh, do damage control. And so they know that they can't stop the truth from coming out. So what they're trying to do is control the narrative and keep the tribe separated by pushing this whole black narrative, this whole African narrative. And so this one, this channel is called Go Black to Africa. Well, if you're talking about the Hebrews and the Israelites, you got to go beyond Africa and go back to the land of Israel, back to the land of Canaan. All right. And you notice how that golden part up there, I'm looking at this symbol in Africa and the golden part in this thing, you know, well, to the, the west of portion of that, that's where the Israelites were. Now, there are Israelites in the southern part now. All right. But the Israelites uh, were mainly along uh, all in those settlements along the Niger River, the Nile River that came down out of Egypt. All right. And all that goes all the way to the west coast of Africa. That's where the Israelites settled. And in, in our old maps from the 1700s. It was literally called Negro land, and there's no, and I don't think there's any need for me to read the Zondervan's or the Young's Dictionary Bible, which tells you clearly there's a difference between the dark Africans and the dark Israelites. They were two different dark races of people. Hence the reason why the dark flesh Israelites were the ones being sold into slavery out of West Africa and not the dark flesh uh, uh, Hamites, like in the movie uh, The Woman King. All right. Those, you know, you mainly what you had going on was you had a, 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 a slave trade, which was being operated. You can find this in the book of Joel, the third chapter and the, the Hamites, the dark fleshed Africans, the real Africans. All right. As you as you would say, was selling the dark fleshed Israelites who were refugees in their land that they didn't want there. All right. Who had enmity with them from ancient days before. All right. So they went to hide among their enemies to blend in. All right. You got scriptures that would clearly tell you that the Lord, his his mother and father, went and hid him, hid among the Egyptians. You know, Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. Moses was mistaken for an Egyptian. Why? Moses grew up in the house of Egypt. Why? How is it if Moses looked like this guy on the screen? All right. And um, he grew up in the house of, of Pharaoh, you know, he wouldn't have lasted long. 
<laughs> he wouldn't have got into the house. He wouldn't have made it past being pulled out of the river. So without any further ado, we're going to talk about the three classes of men. All right. So let me go right to. Uh, uh, and the first class is being the elect or being the, the Israelites, the sons of God. And 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 today the Lord only wants the elect out of Israel. He doesn't even want all of Israel. All of Israel will be saved after the ones on this side die death by pain. Let me get a scripture to uh to substantiate that. All right. I'm going to go straight to Zechariah. Because th these people included in this number, they're still the sons of God too, but they're they're labeled, they're already they already have been selected for destruction for their disobedience and they will get the blessings of Jacob when they're born back into the kingdom through the elect. All right? This is uh Zechariah 7 and 13. Awake, O, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 13 and 7. Uh, awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow, my people, and say if Yahweh of hosts, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say if Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So the third is the elect of Israel that are here on earth, the ones that are not in the spirit world. They will make it through this upcoming destruction. And they consist of Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the scattered abroad that are scattered among the heathen that look like the heathens. All right? Those are those two, those are uh, that, you know, the, the most important of the three classes of men. The next, the next uh, portion of that would be the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. All right. So let's go to uh, Job nine and twenty-four, and it tells you that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given in Job nine twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. So who was able to cover up the uh, the the faces of the ancient judges of the earth and put their face up and say that they were them. There's only one people that did that. The same people who destroyed all the nose and lips off the, all the ancient uh, 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 artifacts that were all throughout Canaan, all throughout Northeast Africa, throughout Egypt. You know, when they that, that was one of the jobs that ISIS was doing. You know, and I still will say that I, ISIS, they slipped up and said it. Uh, ISIS was Israeli secret intelligence service. So you had a bunch of guys like this rabbi here to throw on the turban, he already got the big beard, throw, throw on the, uh, the Ishmaelite dress, you know, uh, uh, put a little paint on their face, wearing fatigues and and, and, and toting AK-47s and take a picture and you think you're looking at Ishmael. All right? And who conquers the society and then goes into the museums and destroys the artifacts instead of keeping them, instead of collecting them into their private... All these, all the money that these things are worth, but then they were destroying them. Why? Because that each region of the world would have showed you that there was no pale people there. That's why they were destroying. They were destroying the evidences, destroying the receipts. Okay, this is Isaiah twenty-five and seven, and it reads, "And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people." And the veil that is spread over all nations. And Esau Edom spread a veil over all the nations. And then they use this false paradigm, this false uh, uh, thing that they call color to, uh, uh, to separate and control the people. And quite frankly, there's no such thing as a, a white person or a black person. We've explained and showed you that over and over again. All right. The words that we don't believe Africans were Jews, but our Talmud shows this. Nobody knows, all right? Those words are, are white. His skin is red. You can see how pinkish he is. Matter of fact, here's an image of an Edomite holding an apple. And damn, I'd be damned if he don't look like the damn, damn, they like the apple. And it's beautiful that it, his facial hair is white. He's not blending in with his hair. You can't, it's like, you know, if, he, if they were both white, you wouldn't be able to tell what is his hair and what is his skin. See, because it said the first came out red all over like a hairy garment all over like a hairy garment okay so that that's an edomite uh, uh at least in appearance because just because i put his face up you have to test his spirit all right 
Because his spirit could actually go back to a man of color that it actually is an Israelite. All right. Through his father's line, if his father's father's father is simple as that. You are whatever your forefathers are. Point blank period. Does not matter what you're, what you know, <laughs> how the rock say, it doesn't matter. If whatever you got to say, it don't matter, man. All right. Because the truth is the truth. Matter of fact, let's get a scripture to substantiate that now that I said it. And then I'll continue back on these three classes of people. This is uh, numbers. Because, uh, uh, you know, they'll try to talk about the, you know, the, all this, you know, this craziness, madness, the Nephilim and all that. Look, you have three classes of people. You have the line that came from the, from straight from, from, from Adam, which were the Adamites. All right. And, and, uh, and that was a line that, 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 uh, Abel was a part of. And continued on with Seth. Okay. Because the Lord, you know, in the in the Bible, the Lord uh, is traced all the way back to, to Adam. Okay. And then you had the people uh, that go back to Cain. Cain was reborn as Esau Edom. As simple as that. And and Esau Edom, the people of Esau Edom, bear the same mark that Cain. They bear the mark of Cain. All right. I have a Shakespeare's complete work. And, and, um. And it says, as a matter of fact, let me go back to that image and then I'll read the scripture that I was pulling up. And, and that, and that uh, complete works of Shakespeare, when you go to the glossary and you look up colored red, it tells you the, the, the mark of Cain. That's what it tells you. So that what that's telling me is that Shakespeare knew that this is what the mark of Cain looked like. Same as the rabbi on the screen. All right. Let's go back to that numbers. It was 1 and 18, and it reads, And they assembled all the congregations together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the houses of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So it's the seed of your father which determines who you are, which brings into to, uh, 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 the picture what the third class of people are. The third class of people are simply the Gentiles, the other heathen nations. All right? So you have the sons of God who will, who will later uh, came back through uh, through Jacob via Abraham and Isaac. All right. And their page, those 12 patriarchs, the 12 tribes of Israel, their children became the sons of God. Those are the sons of God come back into the earth. All right. Then you have the sons of the wicked, which were the, you know, Esau, Edom. And then you have the other the heathen nations. Those are the Gentiles. Those are the other nations. All right. And what they and what they fear is this great awakening. As a matter of fact, I'm going to share, play a share a video where a woman is talking about the great awakening and she's comparing them to aliens, that they're insurgents, you know, kind of the same way we talk. We're the Lord with the yeah, Yahweh, you know, the men of the great millstone and other brothers that do this work in truth and sincerity are part of that. But the Lord has ground forces down here. That, are, that, you know, as Psalms 82 said, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. And some of these men are going to be raised up. And we're going to listen to this woman uh, talk about them. Let me go find this video real quick. All right. So let me get the sound up. Let me bring her into. Human beings are a hybrid with a consciousness that, that they have planted for the awakening. There are specific people who have come down here to be catalysts for the awakening. The entities or the beings who are saying, you know, it's time to leave, it's time to leave, because I'm sure there are, you probably heard a lot of that, is they're trying to look for their people who haven't awoken that, exactly. um, that need to awaken so that they can find them and take them off the planet. Because exactly. they're here to do their job, <laughs> you know, and they don't want them on the surface of the earth. When the cataclysm comes. Mm -hmm. So you think, you think they collect them? I do think they will collect them. Because mm. um, my impression is that there are some restrictions earthwise that might, you know, stand in the way. Um, speaking about government. That some the government trying to stop this awakening. You know, that being one thing. All right. That's what all this uh this mess about Kanye and, and Kyrie is about. 
All right. When Kyrie, all he did was post information. He never said a word. Okay. But that information is detrimental because the, a big portion of that is true outside of the fact that they're not mentioning the rest of the 12 tribes, which would be the, the Latinos and the natives. All right. And the scattered abroad that look like the heathens. They're leaving them out of it. That's Revelation, the seventh chapter, uh, uh, the ninth verse, that great multitude. Okay, because the Lord is going to have to re re uh, bring back all those people that were scattered, that were scattered from, uh, you know, among the heathen that looked like the heathen. Matter of fact, that that's in uh, Baruch 2 and 30. I'm going to play that after this video, but let's. It's concealing the airspace uh, as much as possible in order to, you know, prevent uh, foreign entities in here. We're right. talking about the this UFOs. Those are the chariots of God. That we will not have to be concerned about that at all. Uh, my understanding is that there's going to be a, a worldwide blackout. Um, they just a blackout will more than likely happening worldwide when the missiles come. All right, and that's when you have to be in, in to survive, especially if you in the in the kill zone, which is Babylon the Great. You have to be up off the face of the planet. That's why those what they're referring to as aliens. With ships, you know, are, are keep manifesting and showing themselves where they you can't no longer deny it or be called crazy or tinfoiler, you know, hat wearing individual if you talk about them because everybody's seeing them now. And those are the vehicles that are going to be used to get the Lord's elect off the face of the earth. They're going to get rounded up like the concept of uh, of of of, uh, uh, of Santa Claus flying around the whole world delivering toys. Well, the chariots are going to fly around the whole world collecting up the elect, mainly here from Babylon. Show me complete darkness. And um, when that happens, there's not a weapon or a defense system that exists for humanity in this world that can stop them from collecting their people. That's right. And you stand no chance. There's nothing you can do. The end, the end of the all is already written. The oppression is coming. The demonization is coming. The, the you know, the uh the men we won't be on the streets teaching anymore. You won't be able to go to the internet to uh to look these things up and be and and be uh, uh educated or for some of you entertained. All right, they're going to do away with all that and make life even more hard for us than what it is now. But at the end, they lose. All right, as simple as that. And by the way, humanity in some way. Um, continues to have the societies that they have at the behest of these beings who could. That's right, because they have to work for the, they, they're, everyone's going into slavery for the first thousand years to build up the kingdom of heaven for the, for the nation of Israel, all right, for free. The same as we built up this one. And at the end of that, the sons of the wicked get rounded up and destroyed, all right? The, 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 uh, the other nations, the sons of men, they get to go back to their lands that were allotted them in Genesis the tenth chapter and live in peace, finally. Interfere at any time if we are destroying the garden. Yeah, yeah. Revelation eleven and eighteen. He's gonna destroy them that who destroys the earth. The earth was Eden. It was the east and Eden. The whole earth was a paradise. And it got destroyed under the watch, under the control of well, the people you see on the screen. You know, the water, the air, the food, the quality of life, they did that. Do you think the hybrids are down here to uh, monitor us? Um, or they created the hybrids to monitor us uh, or to uh, prevent something from, from happening? My understanding is that they're here to essentially manifest the awakening by bringing in their vibration and that's the prophets of the lord we're bringing in our vibration through the word all right it said that esau would be exposed the wicked would be exposed this is uh let me go to uh second thessalonians popped in my head it's second thessalonians uh no, that's first thessalonians two and eight and it reads and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So when, you know, when the Lord shows up uh, to, to cast down the, when the heat, the heat that sits on the thrones, the ancient of days, and matter of fact, I think I'm going to read that. Um, it's over for these Edomites. Okay. 
I mean, it's it's over for them. Because the Lord's going to come gather up his elect. From a matter of fact, let me let me just go into the scriptures and finish this out and go quickly. All right. Let's let's go to uh Baruch. Two and thirty. And it reads. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's what's got these small hatters, you know, uh, nervous. And, and then the receipts and the evidences are overwhelming them. That's why they keep trying to do the smear camp campaign with their, uh, uh, you know, with their media. But, you know, you can't do anything to the elect, man. You know, the Lord is, is coming for his elect and there's nothing you can do about it. This is a wisdom of, of Solomon uh, three and nine. And it reads. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints. The saints are the Israelites. It didn't say other nations of people, the heathens or the wicked. All right. And he have care for his elect. He's coming for the elect of Israel. Plank blank period. There is nothing that anybody can say or do to change that. The Lord says he, he changes not. Luke 18 and 7. It reads. And shall God not avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he, he bear long with them? So, so long we've been crying, Lord, please, man, we're dying, we're sick, we're being oppressed, we're not, a, we're not allowed to prosper, our, our, our development it has been completely and totally arrested and corrupted, you know? Okay? So let me, let's go to Daniel real quick. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 9, because the Lord is coming down to cast down all the thrones, all the power structures. All right. There can be no Russian government, Japanese government, American government, Chinese government, Turkish government, Israeli government. None of that can be once the Lord returns. All right. The Lord is coming to cast down all the thrones and set up his elect, set up the house of David. All right. All right. Which wouldn't allow gay parades in their land. Or anything like that. Okay. You wouldn't be able to have a pink city. In the land where King David sits on the throne. All right. Um, but yeah. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 9. And it reads. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. Whose garment was white as snow. And his hair of his head was like the pure wool. His thrones was like the fiery flame. And his wheels were burning fire. That's talking about. What the world ignorantly calls uh, UFOs. Okay, that's what it's talking about. And it says, And I beheld then because the voice of the great words which were which the horn spake, I beheld even till the beasts were slain. That you know, that's that's uh, American NATO, their armies, and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. The lake of fire is going to be Babylon. All right. It says as concerning the rest of the beasts. They have their dominion taken away and their lives were prolonged for a season. Why? To, to serve Israel, to serve the saints. And I saw the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with clouds of heaven. Said he left on a cloud. He's coming on the cloud. Revelation says the world or the, the earth will, will wail because of him. They're not going to be happy. All right. And he called the clouds his chariots. He come with clouds of heaven. And came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him, and there were given him dominion and glory in the kingdom that all people, nation, languages shall serve him, and his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. He's going to rule over and destroy and bring down all nations. That's in Revelation uh two and twenty-six. All right. So we go to Revelation real quick. 2 and 26 and it reads and he that overcometh to keep my works to the end to him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them with the rod of iron so the we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai okay but Yahweh Shai is going to be the king of kings then King David is going to sit on the throne and then and then we're going to be smaller case gods all with crowns upon our head to judge the whole world that's your 144,000, the roll call of the, of the heavenly order, the new government that's, that's spoken of in Revelation, the seventh chapter. 
all right? And he will rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter's clay that they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father. So they're gonna, the nations are going to be broken down, all right? The wheat is going to be separated from the tares, just like she actually said in the video if you watch it. All right, she ended up saying that he's going to separate the wheat from the tares, and what and what the 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 wheat being the Israelites, the tares being well, Esau, Edom, the heathen nations that mixed the intermingled their seed among us and look like us. They're gonna they're gonna be destroyed. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Nawashai by Shem Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yasharala Shalom.